Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video I am going to be doing our Sagittarius reading for August 2nd 2021 so let's go ahead and get right into it. What's going on with our Sagittarius Sun Moon and Rising signs for August 2nd 2021 what can they expect? What should they look out for? what energy is surrounding them wow the first card to come out Sagittarius is the seven of swords in reverse now I'm gonna ask y'all something Sagittarius are y'all doing something untrustworthy <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. There is some air sign energy surrounding you with this seven of swords being in reverse. Um, pay attention to people who are like dishonest with you or not trustworthy, you know, on today. You do have the page of pentacles in reverse supporting that as well as the ace of wands in reverse as well as the nine of pentacles in reverse. Let's see what the back of deck energy is. Death in reverse? Are all these cards in reverse? No, they're not. Sagittarius okay let's go ahead and get into this this overall energy with the death card being in reverse this did come out with I believe this came out with the Gemini's death card in reverse and you guys are polar opposite so this may involve a Gemini for some of you guys okay not all of you guys but for some of you guys and or air sign either air sign this death card in reverse is deep Scorpio energy though and I feel like you guys may be resisting transformation okay um there may be some transformation going on in your life or something different happening in your life right now um that you may be resisting change this can do with your career um this can do with your health as well um a lot of you guys may have been procrastinating on like exercising you may <laughs> And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay um, with this energy. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you guys are, you know, overweight or underweight. It has nothing to do with that. It's just, you know, a health consciousness that you guys ha may have been subconsciously feeling or thinking about because we do have air sign energy here. And, you know, air sign energy um, is the club's card you know when you're playing space and it's all about communication it's all about your thoughts it's all about what you think and what you think of yourself and what I'm seeing with this death card in reverse a lot of you guys may have set some goals for yourself that you may have not completed or some things that you may have wanted to do that you have not started on and today you may be you know resisting that energy or you may be beating yourself up about that when it comes to you know the transformation now there's some seven of swords energy in reverse here like i was telling you guys about the dishonesty some untrustworthiness you may have some people surrounding you with that energy that you cannot trust you know what i'm saying and you may not trust them when it comes to finances um, you may cannot trust them when it comes to like love or passion because you do have some fire sign energy with this ace of wands in reverse and with this page of pentacles being in reverse this energy is somebody who you know may be wasteful and that I feel like this energy is coming from someone surrounding you because it's like some heavy air sign energy here and I'm connecting and correlating it with Gemini for some of you guys I don't know why it just keeps coming up for um in my spirit to tell you guys now with this page of pentacles being in reverse pay attention to people who are very wasteful around you um pay attention to the people that you do hang around and see if some of those habits um you have adapted you know what I'm saying? And that may be where this disappointment may be coming from. A lot of you guys may have been starting something new um, during this week 
to better your life, whether it has to do with school, maybe it has to do with like a new diet, um, a spiritual cleanse, whatever it may be. And you may be disappointed in yourself because you didn't get started like you said you were going to. You do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Now with this energy, this is just like some delay. So a lot of you guys may not be getting starting on something new because there may have been a delay that you couldn't control. Um, Spirit is saying work with what you've got and what you have in this moment. You do have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And I want to know why you guys are feeling like regret about something or feeling lonely about something. You may be regretting some decisions that you may have made recently, um, a couple of days ago, or some decisions that you may have made last year that may be affecting you right now. Um, and it's okay. Like we're here to grow and we're here to learn and experiencing new things. Um, Sagittarius, so it's okay, you know? We're going to get into the numerology cards so we can see what you guys should mainly be focusing on today because all of your cards came in reverse. Don't beat yourself up, okay? <laughs> what should my Sagittarius sun? Moderation. <laughs> and I know moderation is hard when you are a fire sign because it's like, it's got to be quick. You know what I'm saying? It's it's got to be fire and desire. But Spirit is saying today, take your time. You know, um, enjoy every step of the process of waking up today. You know, like, wow, showing some more gratitude. Not saying that you don't, but, you know, showing a little more gratitude. Like, wow, thank you guys so much for waking me up this morning. Wow, I'm able to get out of my bed. I'm able to wash my face, brush my teeth. I'm so thankful and grateful for this water that is coming out of my faucet that I'm able to use. I know it sounds childish, <laughs> you know, sometimes, but this is like the little things, you know, that we need to think about and just just move kind of like in slow motion today. I'm a Capricorn and I am definitely, okay, <laughs> I'm definitely moving in slow motion <laughs> all the time because I'm ruled by Saturn, you know, so... I'm moving this a little out of time, <laughs> but focus on that energy today, like slowing down and actually smelling the flowers, you know, is that what they say? <laughs> say, smell the roses or something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we're going to get into the moon allergy card so we can see what energies are surrounding you guys today. And the first card to come out, wow, Capricorn energy. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Um, a lot of you guys, it may have been very tough for you to start something new, you know, to go in a different direction in your life. And Spirit is telling you that those cycles, those tough cycles are coming to an end. You do have full moon in Virgo, which is you are good enough, you guys. And listen... I cannot stress this enough. You are freaking amazing, Sagittarius, regardless whatever it is that you're starting new um, in your life, even though there may be some obstacles that may come up, some delays that may be happening or going on in your life. These things happen to the best of us, you know, it's going to happen and it gives us time to slow down and be in moderation. You definitely have some earth sign energy here. And it's telling you to just be grounded and live in the moment today. All right? It may change tomorrow in tomorrow's reading. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading today. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.